The temperatures drop as this frontal system uh, approaches bringing the potential. I was saying yesterday there looked like there was a lot of lift. We could see some, uh, you know, maybe some severe weather. Now the National Weather Service has also said it. There is the potential. Uh, it's, it's a low chance, but they're saying there's the potential where we can see thunderstorm activity, high winds, heavy rain, thunderstorm, lightning, and hail. Currently, upper 30s to the mid 40s. Upper, whoa, no, no, strike that. Look at you, Lindenhurst. You're at 48 degrees, and so is Stanford, Connecticut. So we have a range, basically, of 40 to 48 degrees, pretty much wherever you can see me or hear me. Rain is just to the west of us, but it's going to take a little bit of time to get here. I give you the bigger perspective to show you what's happening here. You see the snow in Cincinnati? And you see the rain approaching us? Much colder air behind the, where the warm air is to the east of the front. And that is going to make that clashing, those air masses clash, create quite a bit of instability in the atmosphere. If you get strong updrafts and downdrafts, you see heavy downpours. That's number one. But if you get some lift and some rotation, some shear at the surface, you can see a tornado. And they've had tornado warnings down south. I mentioned that yesterday, that a lot of the energy was going to be down south because that cold air was rushing into much warmer air. And that creates the thunderstorm activity. Here we are. There's the frontal system. There's the cold air. There's the mild air. You see the snow there. A lot of things are going to happen with this system. One is going to bring us some good rain, it looks like. And this is at 11 a.m. Might be a little early here to show moderate rain, but this is showing light rain. By 12 o'clock, light to moderate rain. From the Bronx, Brooklyn, Staten Island, Queens, Manhattan, through about 2, 3 p.m., public transportation, best bet, because there is the potential for local ponding on the roads, which will cause problems for you if you're trying to drive. This is at 3 o'clock, heavy downpours possible when you see the yellows from East Orange over to Yonkers, the red there. That's normally severe, right? So this is unusual uh, for almost the beginning of December. And this goes through about 6 o'clock, maybe 7 o'clock it clears out. I say maybe. What's guaranteed, not only is it guaranteed we're going to see some rain, the question is, you know, if we're going to see severe. But the winds gusting up to 45, 50 miles an hour possible today. So high winds and heavy rain and then colder temperatures headed this way. And that's story number two. When I try to figure out if we're going to see, you know, dry weather or wet weather, I try to figure out where the area of high pressure is going to set up. And if an area of high pressure now is up in Canada, the temperatures are in the 30s. You're saying, Byron, I know there's Arctic air in Canada this time of year, and if I've got a northwest wind, then that means that cold air heads this way, and that cold takes our temperatures down. It will later tonight. If the high where it is right now is down south, it brings that warm air up towards us, and that's what's happening with that southwest wind today. Temperatures this afternoon, 2 to 4 o'clock, upper 50s to low 60s, upper 50s to low 60s. But then the winds shift out of Canada, out of the north and northwest, and it takes our wind chill temperature into the 20s tomorrow morning at 8 a.m. It's a bundle up day tomorrow morning, but then the roller coaster ride continues. On Saturday, we go right back up with the south wind. So today, severe weather possible. I'll take a long look at this at 45 after the hour, and then colder tomorrow, warmer by Saturday.